All right, what's up, guys? We are gonna go over the trades today. Uh, made three trades, um, finishing up three hundred and fourteen dollars, which is not bad at all. Actually, I was up three hundred eighteen. I lost four dollars on a little shitty trade I just accidentally made. Lost four dollars, big deal. Whatever, three hundred fourteen dollars. Um, now, if you remember, I started this account. Technically, it's like a five thousand dollar account with two times leverage. So ten thousand dollars. So I started with ten thousand dollars, and I will zoom out here in a minute. I just wanted to zoom in so you could actually see the numbers. I realized that sometimes when you watch the videos, you can't see the numbers because they're kind of tiny. But right now it's at eleven thousand two hundred and eighty-four dollars. So I am currently up twelve hundred and eighty-four dollars profit on this account since I started it with a lot less money than I was what I was using. So. It's pretty nice. I feel good about that. Um, so, I've kind of I've had some decent trades. So, and as you can see, it's it's a fake account, it's simulated, which y'all people who've already you know been following me already know. So let me uh, uh, let me make this fit the screen better here, so we can see everything that's going on. So, uh, zoom out just a tad. There we go. And it's not like I'm hiding anything over here. It's just some people get confused because over here, this doesn't say the same as this. This has 111,000, but the 11,000 is what it lets me use. It just doesn't. Uh... Oh, no, it actually does say 11,000 over there, so whatever. Anyways, I'm still going to zoom it out, make it look better, cleaner. Don't have to see the crap on the bottom. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Didn't want that. Boom. I wanted this. I want to change it to side by side. Bring it down. <laughs> All right. So link these two up make this the daily and so today I traded AANX that was the first trade now oops AAXN sorry a little dyslexic sometimes it makes it hard to trade but whatever Maybe make these studies uh, moving averages boom so this week has been a little weird because we haven't had like cheap penny stocks running we've had mid cap stocks running so like twenty dollars to seventy eighty dollar range and they've been spiking so it's been a little weird but still making money so it's pretty awesome um, AANX was alerted in our chat. So, you know, it spiked from uh, 62 up to 71. Somebody that in our chat that, you know, has quite a bit of money alerted it, said he was watching it and trading it. Uh, I was watching. I didn't get in during this spike. I was uh, really busy watching a couple other stocks that weren't really working out. But I decided to go ahead and buy a hundred shares which is sixty seven hundred dollars worth uh, just right here and I held it for a while and I was waiting on it to maybe pop up and break out never did uh, I just jumped out let's see hundred shares where did I get out oh I sold sold in two increments so here and here um, I sold half at 68 and I sold the other half for at 67.47 so uh, come out to $22 profit. Nothing big at all. I'll make this bigger so you can see. $22. I don't know if that helped or not. So that was kind of a dud trade. You know, it, was, it is what it is. Uh, next, I have XNet. I traded. And I will show you here on the daily chart why I'm still looking at XNet because, I mean, it's been on the radar here for about two weeks, maybe a week and a half. 
but here on the daily chart it's got a nice uh, ascending triangle so I was kind of hoping you know for a little pop or something but uh, you know it came down it did come up a little and where did I pick up I bought thousand shares at 621 so another six thousand dollar trade nothing huge 42 so I got in on this green candle I was looking for you know a, a harder spike on the red to green here and I sold that at 60 623 so two pennies you know I made forty two dollars nothing huge I was up like seventy dollars at one time. Let's see, what time did I sell? Forty-seven. Oh, I sold right here. I wasn't even looking at it when it went up here, so I should have just held because I would have made pretty good money on it. So I got out real quick because I was in another trade that was very risky, but had a lot of potential. And that is R A. PT, another mid-level cap, high priced, and this thing was spiking pretty hard. I jumped in with 200 shares at $36 a share. I'm not even going to try to do the math, get my calculator out. $32, nope, $36 a share times 200, $7,200. So I went in with just a little bit more money, but it's fine because, you know, I'm using the leverage. So $7,200 trade, 200 shares, and I am in at 944 at $36. Oh, come on. It's so hard to get this thing. need a better mouse probably whatever basically right here so I'm in at 36 even it gets halted so you can see right here the timestamps 945 the next timestamp is 950 so it gets halted gets unhalted goes up I cut out 50 shares at s this does not sound right at all nope nope okay so fit right here I was looking at that's a different stock so I got out 50 shares at 38.39 on this first spike. So right in there. And then I sold 50 more shares up at 40.25. So right in there. And then it fell pretty hard. Uh, I got out. 50 shares at 34.62 and that's what brought my average down so much because I got out down here basically the bottom and then was that it? One, two, three, thirty-eight. okay 35.81 so it's kind of bouncing around just a little down here but yeah so at the top here, I was after even after selling 50 here and 50 here, I think here I was up like 750 something dollars. And this initial having to sell the rest down here, you know, below my entry is what brought my average down so much. I was up $758 and then I only finished up 253 on it. So still not a terrible trade finishing up 314. And like I said this last trade here that I made uh, AMD I was just trying to reset the account like up here when you first log in with a simulated account it has the hundred thousand there but once you put in your first order it brings it down to whatever you have it set at so I just hit sell market because usually it rejects it but because you're trying to short I guess AMD is shortable even on the simulation so it filled the order of 200 shares because that was what top was topped in on my window and I immediately, immediately hit buy market and it filled the 200 shares for a $4 loss so you can see on the timestamp it says 155.02 
155.05 and a two cent difference because if you mark an order in it you know gets you in on the uh, ask and out on the bid whatever so yep that was my day today I'm actually you know pretty happy about that uh, now in my buddy's account uh, his live account he's been letting me trade I did take a trade on TVIX and lost fifty dollars so all I've did this week in his account is lose money uh, but I'll show you why TVIX and SPY let's make this a little bigger because we're done with my trading so uh, Trump tweeted uh, that we're not still not able to make tariff deals or whatnot with China so here SPY cracks and just drops basically a dollar or a whole point and TVIX TVIX goes from 847 up to 872 that's pretty good because with his account I can afford to buy a thousand shares so every what 10 cent is hundred dollars so 40 50 60 70 that's three hundred dollars right there in a matter of three minutes but I missed it I was thinking this was going to continue to fall so I hopped in thousand shares at 868 maybe it's, I think it's 867 but anyways um, so it came down and it was coming back up came up came back down and I was like I'm gonna hop in because this had come up and it had come up to this level and it was starting to move back down and I got in and it creeped down a little bit and what pissed me off is this barely came up and then back down and then started to fade so I got out uh, with a $50 loss not terrible you know if you're holding a thousand shares that was eight hundred and or eight eight thousand six hundred dollar position something like that you know thousand shares so fifty dollar loss isn't terrible but still I was hoping this would continue to fade and I would make more money but the SPY has just been beasting I mean it has these pullbacks during the day but if you look at it on the daily of course with the gap ups and gap downs kind of makes it look like it hasn't but I don't know I'm waiting for the crack maybe it'll crack and come back down to 302 I can pick up some TV again. but for now I'm just gonna wait until some real news comes out but uh, anyways, that's my trading for the day. Thanks for watching.